rest of the numbers are effectively identical. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Edmund, the golden boy, Shabazian. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet, one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England, Michael the Cat Bisping! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have an awful idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. He lands a big knee to the body. Nice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, and so able to fight from both fighting stands. Back to the feet now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie. Oh, lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the nice big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he's landing his big body. From the clinch here, nice trip to get the takedown. Uh, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Working on a guillotine. He's that guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flu choke. Ovin St. Preux would be proud. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next okay, round. Two. High number of kicks landed go, guys, in the fight. previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Bismarck. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, he is grounding, he is pounding, and now he's working the body to great effect. Nice job by Bismarck. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, get the cut man ready. Huge elbows raining down here. We could get a finish. The referee is getting closer and closer. He is going to stop this fight. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Able to land the single ground strike there. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Just reached the midway point of the fight. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, and he's back up again. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here, and starting to find himself in the pocket. Now we're going. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. Bad. Nice hammer fist. It's the elbow there. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. What a fight so far! So a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Back to the feet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in oh, some body shots. Into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Both fighters get up now. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many bodies. What a takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Kick to the body by Bisman. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver. Oh, down. that punch will count. Landed flush. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is 
true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the net. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out the space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. A oh, little single collar tie there. What a punch. Oh! Oh, he might be out. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' score cards for decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Michael the Count is All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance.